things hang as long as I possibly can so we end up with we end up with the vines looking like this the canopies shut down <laughs> this is a result of it freezing you know but um, so and also the clusters will just pop right off the vine where typically we have to knife them off so these guys will will, will have to, we, they can right now just come through and just pull it off really fast with their hands without using knives so I'm looking for I'm not I'm not looking for anything like I said about numbers I'm looking for the fruit to be mature and for the fruit to be mature I typically walk through the vineyard and I just randomly grab two berries and just pop in my mouth and all I'm really looking for when I do that is uh, let me try that <laughs> yeah, yeah. So go ahead what are you looking for? so I'm looking for this there's there's several parts in the grape okay. this is going to be color and, and a lot of the flavor and the structure of the wine this can adversely affect the, the flavor of the wine so all these seeds being slightly green or the meniscus around the outside all that pectin when it breaks down, what's it going to do to the wine? And, and I'm trying to taste for that. This particular juice this year, we've already gotten some in the tank, and it's been really balanced. It's really good. I would like to see the seeds a little browner, a little more lignified, and that would that would show to me that it's physiologically mature. Um, and that's what I'm looking for: physiological mature maturity in the grapes, not a number that says, "Hey, it's you know, it's 26 bricks. Time to pick." You know, there's no there's no recipe. You have to get out and taste. You have to feel this and walk through the vineyard and breathe the air and everything. So. I do that, I'll walk down several rows and taste, just randomly grab a couple of berries and I break them against the roof of my mouth and just spit, spit all the material out and just drink the juice. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm, because that's really all I'm going to make the wine out of. I'm not biting the seeds to break them open because we never do that in the wine making process. So yeah, you know, again, just the deciding when to pick is all based on taste for me and just what we're doing right now. Walk through the vineyard, look, taste and then just kind of quickly verify with the numbers in the lab and say, are we there? But what am I going to have to do in the winery? The lab numbers for me are just an estimate of what I'm going to have to do in the winery to, to kind of get the juice in check. Right. And I want the alcohol at a certain level. So blending and all these things we can do in the winery uh, are what I can do to fix any problems in the vineyard that might be minuscule problems but need to be there for the wine to be perfect. So it's all about the grape, right? It is all about the grape, <laughs> yeah. yeah.